Hey guys, this is Samad here from DIY King and I'm here with the most awaited video of our channel that is a DIY racing drone. So without any further delay, let's have a look at how fast this thing is. I have started by assembling the frame and it's just a matter of getting all the parts together with the provided screws. Besides that, the link to all the parts that are used in this project are available in the description below. So be sure you check them out. Now make sure you tighten all of them properly. The pair of motors with the red nut is made for anti-clockwise rotation while the other motors with black nut is made for clockwise rotation. The configuration of the motor is straight forward as shown in the chart at the top right corner. Now before mounting the motors to the frame, make sure to place the silicon pads to reduce the vibration. To keep everything neat, we are going to use a centralized ESC or speed controller unit instead of using four of them. The ESC is then mounted in place and the wires from the motors are then soldered to each individual output of the speed controller that is indicated by the marking at each corner. Now don't worry about the orientation of wires between the motor and the speed controller as if the motors were found to be running in the wrong direction, we can easily switch the outer two wires or we can reverse the direction of rotation by using the software that is provided with this particular ESC. Since the ESC has no BEC or battery elimination circuit, so we are going to use the power distribution board to have a 5V DC output to power the ESC, receiver and the flight controller unit. So we soldered an XT60 connector to the board, connected the speed controller in parallel and mounted it above the ESC. I've also added a servo plug to the 5 volt DC output which will later be connected to the flight control board. The flight controller that I'm using here is SP Racing F3 board. The link to that is given in the description below. The board is then mounted above the BEC unit and the 5 volt port from the BEC is then connected to the flight controller. Later, I have connected the signal wires from the motor speed controller to the flight control board as shown in the chart right over here. Make sure you connect the ground wire as well. The flight control board is supplied with a pair of connectors that goes right into the IO1 and IO2 ports. These input output ports are responsible for communication between the flight controller and the receiver. Since I am going to use only two auxiliary channels, one of which is going to be used for arming the drone while the other one is for mode selection. So that's why I'm going to cut down all the extra wires from both these connectors. Here I'm using FRA Sky 8 channel receiver along with Futaba radio. So the wiring diagram in that particular scenario is shown in the chart right over here. But if you are using high tech, spectrum or any other brand radio, 
then you might need to refer to the wiring diagram for that particular radio. Moreover, you have to select the correct channel mapping for that radio in the clean flight software. To configure the flight controller, first you have to download the clean flight app on Google Chrome and connect the flight controller using a micro USB cable. Now flash the latest available firmware by downloading it and hit the flash button right next to that. As you connect the board to the clean flight configurator, you can see the live orientation of the board on the setup tab. As you tilt the board, you can see the animated cord tilts in that particular direction. Now make sure that the cord is placed on a flat surface and then calibrate the accelerometer. Now head to the configuration tab and in the receiver menu, select the PWM RX input that is one wire per channel. In the receiver tab, select the appropriate channel mapping for your radio system, which in my case is Futaba radio. In the modes tab, select the auxiliary channel for arming the drone and the other one for angle mode, as it's a self-stabilizing mode and it will help you to fly the drone easily, especially if you are a beginner, I'll definitely recommend that. Now you can also test the motors in the motor tab. Make sure that the props are not mounted onto the motors and you can easily run the motors individually or all of them at once by sliding the master tab. Well, that's the basic setting for this flight controller. But if you want me to do a more detailed video about the clean flight software and this flight controller, then let me know in the comment section down below. Later, the top half frame is assembled and that's just a matter of sandwiching the spacers between the two plates with the provided screws. The top half frame is then mounted on the base frame using some more screws. Now we need to mount the propellers onto the motors. Since there are two different pair of motors and so does the props, clockwise and anti-clockwise. So make sure to match the direction of rotation of both motors along with the propellers and securely tighten the nut above each prop. Later, the battery and receiver is mounted above the top frame using a pair of velcro straps. Now to wind up everything, I've mounted my action cam and to ensure safe landing, foam pads are added beneath each arm. Now with that being done, we are ready to jump high in the sky. So guys, if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. As if this video is going to get over 10,000 likes, then I'm going to give away one of this drone right at your doorstep. All you need to enter into this lucky draw is to hit the like button and drop down the comment below about what you want to see as our upcoming project. Well, have a look at the bloopers during this project.